where technology strides ahead with leaps and bounds, the ethical implications of its use often lag behind, leaving room for unintended consequences and well, moral quandaries. This was starkly highlighted in the recent case of Rite Aid, a prominent pharmacy chain embroiled in controversy due to its use of facial recognition technology. See, the Federal Trade Commission discovered that Rite Aid's deployment of this technology led to false accusations against customers, disproportionately affecting people of color. This revelation has resulted in a significant ruling, a five-year ban on Rite Aid's use of facial recognition in its stores. The FTC's investigation into Rite Aid's practices unearthed a troubling pattern. The company used artificial intelligence-based software in hundreds of stores to identify individuals likely to commit shoplifting or other criminal acts. However, the technology was far from perfect. It frequently generated false positive alerts leading to customers being wrongly identified as criminals. This resulted in public humiliation for those accused and in some cases led to wrongful detention and searches. Minority Report? Does that kind of ring a bell? Hey, Rite Aid's response to the settlement was one of acquiescence and disagreement. While they expressed satisfaction in reaching an agreement with the FTC, they also contested the allegations about using facial recognition. The company clarified that the technology was part of a pilot program and was limited to a small number of stores, which had ceased operation over three years ago before the FTC's investigation. Now, the FTC's legal filing covering customer complaints from 2012 to 2020, probably well before facial recognition was really good, highlighted a disturbing trend. The facial recognition software was predominantly used in neighborhoods with significant Black, Latino, and Asian populations. This raised serious concerns about racial profiling and discrimination, further complicating the ethical landscape of AI technology in retail environments. Sam Levine, director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection, condemned Rite Aid's, quote, reckless use of facial surveillance systems, emphasizing the humiliation and harms customers face. The proposed order mandates Rite Aid to implement comprehensive safeguards to prevent customer harm when deploying AI-based technology. It also restricts the company from using such technology if it cannot manage potential consumer risk. As part of the settlement, Rite Aid must delete thousands of low-quality images of customer faces collected from store cameras and employees' phones, which label them as persons of interest. The company must also notify customers who are in their database. Now, to me, this case serves as a cautionary tale about the ethical use of AI and the importance of considering its impact on society, especially in terms of privacy and discrimination. It underscores the need for businesses to balance technological advancement with ethical responsibility ensuring that the tools they employ do not infringe on the rights and dignity of individuals. See, Rite Aid's case is a stark reminder of the ethical challenges posed by AI in the retail sector. It highlights to me the need for companies to be vigilant in their use of technology, ensuring that it serves the public good without compromising individual rights. As we continue to navigate the complex landscape of AI and ethics in business, businesses must prioritize transparency, accountability, and respect for human dignity in all of their technological endeavors. Hey, this case to me is fascinating. And as a speaker and consultant on AI, for those who are interested in further exploring AI's ethical dimensions or you're looking for some guidance on navigating the complex issues, feel free to reach out and let's discuss the responsible use of technology in our rapidly evolving digital world.